Well, I figure your salesman for a big company like that probably makes a lot of money. That's right. I thought maybe this was your house here. Wait a moment. No, I don't think that's correct. You had some of that uh, melon thing with the uh, Italian ham wrapped around it? He's perfect. Thanks, partner. I see that's a one o'clock watching this guy. That's good. Go ahead. Um, The ham. The ham. The melon was good, but the ham is not very good. We'll work on that for you. You want mine? Thank you. I'll take that. Um, <laughs> see, what was I talking about? Here? I don't recall. I think something about the yard. You thought I owned it. Oh, I was so rich it. working for Pitney Bowes. That's right, Pitney Bowes. You see, I'm with the United States Postal Service. Or, uh, I'm with the IAB, the Home mm-hmm. Audit Commission. Mm-hmm. We received a call from the Mr. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait there. Uh, what we call? I don't know. Dick looked right to me. What's that, sir? Dick looks good to me back there. Yeah. Some dick must have called. No, his name is Larry. I just can't remember his last name. <laughs> Cindy. Spanish name Battery or something. Check. Yeah. Uh, I, I know I got it in here somewhere. What's that, sir? Can I try to clumeny on you there, sir? It's clumeny. That's what it is. <laughs> I knew it was something that sounded spit, you know. Right. Uh, Mr. Clemente, he called us up not too long ago. <laughs> See, the problem was, I guess he's your supervisor or something. Is that uh, right, sir? Yeah, technically my boss. Technically. <laughs> well, uh, we're not speaking technically here, sir. Actually, what it is, is he was a little bit surprised about that. Uh, <laughs> Would you like a vitamin? Would you like a vitamin? Um, it's penicillin anyway. <laughs> penicillin? Yeah, I'm trying to pump you off. That's a, go ahead. Oh, well, my brother-in-law, he's a druggist. He says some people are violently allergic to penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know too much about that. You, know, this is very you want to come down here? This is your, this is your hero, too. <laughs> safe to put a candle in a paper bag this way, sir? Uh, is Dennis here? Aren't is it safe? Paul? Paul, is that safe? <laughs> Those must be very pretty at nighttime, sir. <laughs> My cousin, he's a, a landscape designer. You know, he does work like this all the time. This is very nice. Thank you. Mrs. Colombo, she's been telling me we should do something with our backyard. <laughs> we don't have much of anything back there except the dog poop, you know. <laughs> Well, I thought, you know, I'd go out there and do something. The lawn kind of died. We got one of them big, uh, uh, ugly, uh, well, you know. Um, I didn't want to get sidetracked here, sir. Uh, with Mr., uh, what's I'm that? really pressed for time here. It's my 30th birthday. I don't have much time left, so. Oh, I'm if, sorry, if sir. I didn't know that. <laughs> that. I'll be very quick, sir. I didn't want to impose on you. It's just that um, Mr. Clemente was kind of wondering... I mean, you always used to come in complaining that you hated the traffic and all the stupid drivers out on the road. That's and I know what you mean there, sir. People cut me off all the time. I got a little Peugeot, and it don't do too good up hills. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Uh, sometimes a dog, he gets over in my lap, and, you know, he wants love. He's a good dog. Yeah, can we get home? doesn't mean any harm. <laughs> but sometimes it's difficult to steer the car. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I didn't want Birthday to slow it up here. You know? um, the thing of it was, he was surprised. See, every time you came in late, and he says you do that a lot, sir. <laughs> um, he says he asked you why you continually drive. Why don't you use public transportation? Uh, yeah. And he said that you couldn't really come up with any good reasons. Have any thoughts on that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, not unless you got a train or a commuter uh, bus for me out there in the parking lot. Well, they're all over the place, sir. You can carpool, you can ride a ferry, you can go on a train or a well, bus. Well, it was my understanding, yeah. Lieutenant, it was going to be temporary anyway. So. What would, sir? Uh, working down in that particular area. Oh, you're expecting a transfer. That's right. Right. Yeah. I see. Well, we'll see. Really, I've got to get back to my... Yes, sir, I'm getting along to the point here any minute. Um, <laughs> it's just that Mr. Clemente was... Excuse me, sir. Oh, I thought that was a real rabbit for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty neat. You know, my brother-in-law, he's kind of a sculptor on the side. Uh, actually, he works at a bowling alley, but, you know, part-time he does it on the side. What's this made out of, sir, do you know? Uh, Dolores? <laughs> I'd love to bring one of those back to Mrs. Colombo. She's got a collection of rabbits. Pilsner? Oh, no, thank you, sir. I don't take reds. Um, what I was getting to, sir, was the thing is, he got a little suspicious one morning, and he went out and checked out your car. Right? Uh -huh. It's a little Honda, isn't it, sir? <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I don't know what kind of car it is. One of them little Japanese things. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the thing of it is that the back door of the hatch was ajar, is what it is, sir. And I guess he got a little nosy. We checked inside, and he found a whole bunch of pitney bows machine guns. <laughs> At least he thought they were pitney bows machines. You see, he went back and checked all the registration numbers. And he couldn't find any of them on the list of certified numbers issued by the U.S. Amazing. Postal Service. <laughs> Just amazing. So that's when he called us, sir. He thought there might be something suspicious. And that's when we started putting you under surveillance, sir. Oh, God. I wonder if, uh, what's the name of your friend? Uh, reminds me of that tool company, Snap-on. What's his name? Uh, he's got the clip-on ties, so it's... Clip-on, yeah, that's, that's right. it. Mr. Clip-on, would you be here, sir? I sure as hell hope so. Clip-on! There's another gentleman here I wanted to talk to, someone by the name of Bob. I'm not sure... What's his last name? It's in here somewhere. If you bear with me just a minute here, sir. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, that's just, uh, that's groceries. That's not important. <laughs> Well, I, I really got to get back to the party. Here. Oh, I remember Am I that, sir. Or anything? I mean, oh no, no, sir. It's just just a routine investigation, <laughs> okay. is all. See what it is. We watched you under surveillance. We saw you the guys coming over, playing the game with you on Monday nights. The <laughs> game Risk. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never played that game before. Mrs. Colombo, she bought a Monopoly game <laughs> one time. Yeah, but we don't play it very often. You know, only occasionally when the kids come over. You know how it is. Yeah. Anyway, sir, um, that wasn't what we were suspicious about it was the way that you guys always hung around house the one that's right next door the trash i hate to tell you this but i had to get a search warrant for the place and i went in there and i found out what you're doing you and your friend from discovery office systems you're manufacturing these pitney bowls machines <laughs> you must have some contact in the postal department who's giving you fake registration numbers and then you're collecting all the money yourself selling these things to your clients now i don't want to get you in a lot of trouble so i don't want to do that sir you see i mean i know this is a bad thing but the problem is i talk to some of your clients sir and none of them would admit to this I mean, I told them they probably wouldn't be prosecuted, just some probation, maybe a small fine, but they wouldn't go along with it. And without their testimony, sir, I'm, I'm stuck. That's the thing. My captain is going to get real mad at me. You can just give me the name of the person in the Postal Service is supplying you with the fake registration numbers, you know? Uh, Lieutenant? Yes, sir? I don't know if I can do that for you. I see. But, uh... Um, Oh, say, these are pretty. <laughs> Mrs. Colombo, she's kind of a horticulturist, you know. First she told me that word, I thought it was something dirty, but then I thought uh, she just means she likes plants. Lieutenant, if you're going to talk to me that is? close again, could you really just take one of those? Oh, no, thank you, sir. I don't take any medication. I'm even allergic to anakin, sir. Look, I got some equipment out front. You wouldn't mind if I went to get it, would you, sir? No. We'll take but a second. Please take your time. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, won't take but a minute. Uh, I've seen one of these before. 
Uh, Could you push the button that makes it start? I'm not sure how the thing works. It's not like very good with the machine. Power button here, uh, this is a very nice house, sir. <laughs> Have you got any leaks in the wintertime? Not that I know of. You, uh, you really want to play? You ready? Yes, sir. I'm very ready. Anytime. Very loud. See, I think this will explain the whole thing, sir. Oh, look, it's Ugly George. How do you do, sir? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Gallagher. But I hope you can make bail. If I can prove this postage fraud business, you may find yourself in jail. <laughs> now, we received a call some time ago from a Mr. Clementi at Pitney Bowes. He says you've got a real scam going, and he's the only one that knows. He said you're tardy to work quite often. When he suggests you take a bus, you scream and shout and complain a lot, you really raise a fuss. He couldn't figure out if you so hated traffic why you refused to leave your car. So he did a bit of snooping and found your Honda's door was ajar. I told you about that, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. Your eyebrows are turning white. I don't know. <laughs> That's when he saw the PV machines. He counted about 18. He checked the numbers against his list, and none were on the list. He hissed. Anyway, sir, so he called me up and reported he suspected postage fraud. Yes, sir, so we began surveillance and learned some things that were rather odd. We ran checks on your two male buddies, Mr. Snap the Clip-On and Mr. Wise. They both have long arrest records, but no convictions. They slid right by. We watched the three of you on Monday playing strategy with that game, and we got a warrant to search the bar next door. You really should be ashamed. <laughs> but I can't convict you without witnesses, sir. None of your clients will admit that you sold in false postage meters, so I just can't make this stick. But look, sir, I just want to warn you, I've got my eye on you, and I don't mean any pansy thing about that. It's just, <laughs> as for risk, you've taken quite a few, sir. You're only safe if you quit this whole scam for life. Happy birthday, with love from your wife. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to get this thing to stop. Oh. I'll take it in the car and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Hi, Carol. Well, I just uh, took one, sir, as a sample. No problem. You don't mind. Yeah, you, can have you might one. take one for Mrs. Colombo, too. Oh, no, she's on a diet. You can have the toothpick back if you want it, sir. I'm all done with it. Okay. Sorry about that. I know when no one asked me to do that. Okay. I got an envelope here. Okay. Give her best of misses now. I will. Thank you, sir. Okay. Very good.